Hey YouTube, Test Jess one here. I uh, just want to do a sort of like a comparison video, I suppose, uh, on the two figures I have here. Which one is the uh, Batman comic version, DC comic version that was released in 2013, and the current one, the Gotham Knight version from Sideshow, which was released um, about a week ago. Okay, so yeah, I pretty much got everything out on the table here. Just going to show you um, what the difference is. Uh, pretty much, it's um, straightforward as you can see. Uh, and just a, a couple of nitpicks on uh, um, the problem with the current figure. I didn't have any problem with this figure. I love it. I still do love it. Uh, it's probably my most posed figure I have out of all my collection. For some reason, I just want to keep changing his pose. Him and DC Superman as well. Uh, so, yeah, I've got it all lined out here, and uh, I'll just show you what extra you get, what extra you don't get, and uh, you make up your own mind, okay? As you can see, uh, going by the line of hands, there's the current Gotham Knight version is one hand less than the uh, first release DC Batman so that is yeah you're shortchanged a little bit there but you're sort of gaining on the extra weapon as to speak okay you have the two sets of fighting style open hands um, with both figures you have pretty much the identical pinching style fingers for um, picking up these batarangs and so forth then you have your next row of hand I say one hand for the Gotham Knight uh, you don't have the hand here you don't have that one for his left hand on the dark Gotham Knight version Okay, and then you're gripping hands for your weapons, pretty much. Speaking of the weapons, we have the we've got the the grappling style hook gun, which is got these blades on the end. Okay, which are fold out to hook. And collapse back in. Now with that gun you also had the version where he, it hasn't been shot so you get that one as well. So you can roll it up and have it down the side of his hip there whereas this Gotham Knight version you have the larger blades for his grappling hook and a thicker rope. The other one's more like a cord. This one's definitely like a rope. So that's for him to hold. And then also you have here the dart, grappling dart gun. And as you can see on the ends here, you can see the darts. Nothing really moves on it. It's got a little metal rod going through the center there, but nothing, you don't do anything with it. Okay, the Batarangs with the DC first release, you got four, one main one and three um, follow-up smaller versions, whereas the right you just get the standard two chrome versions over here. Okay. Pretty much with the uh, the cows, I have the smaller ear version, and then the well now medium sized version, the same as it in the blue. Paint apps pretty much the same. Actually, just just comparison quickly, 
I'll give you two of the heads with the menacing facial expression. Okay. Right. Now we're going to talk about the outfits. You can see definitely a lot darker on the Gotham Knight version. Everything's darker. His utility belt, the same, uh, more just weathered, dark and, and yeah, it's pretty much the same design, as you can see. More of a yellow version with the DC first release, but a huge comparison in the His chest the symbol, as you can see, it's mm, sort of like a more of a Frank Miller style. I suppose that's sort of what the figure is based from, isn't it? Really, when it comes down to it, with the army style belts. It's got that taste to it anyway. As compared to the your typical style bat symbol, your DC style, comic style Batman symbol, without the yellow backing or surround. I quite like that one, it looks quite good. Now, where we have the exclusive battle damaged head of Batman with the first release, you, you have, have extended cowl ears on the next. Now, I really like this. Uh, I think it's um, a definitely an improvement uh, if you're after that sort of thing. I, I love the big long ears. Yeah, I do like the ears. I, I think it, it comes across really well, especially with his his dark black. Well, he has a sort of dark. He has a dark cape, which is like a pleather type material, whereas Batman's on the here more of a vinyl cape. So there's a big difference in the in the um, capes. Uh, definitely, it's like vinyl on the inside, but it's coated on a like a plastic coating, a pleather type coating. Um, it does sit really well. I really like the, um, the the actual cape. It's not wide. With uh, also with the the gauntlets, the upper boots, they are uh, made of painted the original blue, like on this hand. So it's been painted, I would say. Uh, not the the fists as such or the cow, but the more rubber style parts um, do have a prominent blue markings throughout. Uh, it does add a little sort of moonlike flare to it, I suppose you'd say. Some of the the face plates, the it's a better version stick out past the cow so if you can just you can see sort of it's sticking out a little bit maybe a bit of nitpick in there uh, you decide but yeah so there you have it the uh, DC first release in 13 still love him he looks great he's more of a I suppose Justice League, I'll probably make, if I do have a Justice League set, I'll probably put him in amongst that. Whereas this one is more of the, yeah, well, well the Dark Knight type. Uh, so I'll just give you a close up of him, just with his cape wrapped around him. Uh, I managed to push that face place back in. Not too worried about it, to tell you the truth, it's not like I'm going to send it back because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good, eh? Drapes down really well. Wicked ears. Wicked ears. I'll just turn them around. Just a quick one of the back shot.
Yep, hangs right down to the base. Sits well. So there you have it. Uh, if you've missed out or somehow missed out on this um, DC first release, uh, don't um, hesitate to uh, get hold of this little baby. Uh, it does look quite good. Uh, so if you did miss out on the the bluer version, the blue version, go out and get the dark version. Gotham Knight. Test just went out. Catch ya.